Hey everyone, so tonight I'm doing a review on the Marvel Legends 3-pack Toys R Us exclusive uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, Agent Coulson. So I did finally make the plunge and I bought the 3-pack. Um, I got a $20, 20% uh, off uh, coupon, so I decided to go ahead and pick it up. Alright, so I did put a handgun in his hand because I think it looks cool, but he does come with uh, two accessories. He comes with this, uh, the bigger gun from the Avengers movie that he points out Loki. It looks really cool. Um, I really like, let me get the camera to focus, there we go. I really like all the sculpted detail. I think that looks really cool. I like the scope on it and just the whole overall bulkiness of this gun. It's really cool. And I really like the paint apps on the front here. It looks like it's glowing, like it's fully charged and ready to go. It's a really cool gun. It's really big. <laughs> it's, it's big. And it comes with the interchangeable head. It looks just like Agent Coulson to me. I think they did a great job with the likeness. Um, this one without the sunglasses. I do like the one with the sunglasses though a little more. All right, so I'll go ahead and show the front of the figure. Make sure the camera's focusing. <laughs> show the back. And then we'll go ahead and go into the details. All right, so looking at Agent Coulson up close, I think the head sculpt just looks great. I really do. I like that kind of serious smirk he's got on his face here with the sunglasses, like he's more intense and, you know, on the work and, you know, on the job. Um, I think they did a great job of his hair. I wish my camera would just kind of focus. There we go. I think they did a great job of the hair sculpt, the coloring. I think it looks great. A little bit, um, a little bit of paint. It's kind of, you can see the sculpt where it's kind of tan, where his eyes would be on his sunglasses, but if you have it facing dead on, you don't right there you can kind of see it there too the bulginess not a big deal i think that the detail on the flesh tone looks really good i like i just overall like that facial expression and i'm looking at the one without the glasses you can see it's blue in his eyes i think that looks really you know it's just well done and the great you know great head sculpt i'm going to the rest of the figure i really like the suit i'm excited for what other figures hasbro has for us to come with the suit i know we get we're getting chameleon which is going to be awesome i can't wait but going over the rest, this is very pliable. Same thing with the tie. Um, it's very pliable. I really like the um, white button-up shirt, but you can you can see that. Oh, sorry, guys. Bump the camera. Really sorry about that. All right. And we're back. Oh, man. Stupid thing. Okay. And we're back on. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Excuse me. You can see in here that um, it doesn't continue white. It is just the black sleeve. So if he did remove this, it would, he would have a white shirt with black sleeves, which looks funky. But going over the rest of the figure, um, I really like the detail on the tie with the the light with the blue with the you know the lighter blue metallic stripes. I think it looks really cool. It's all pliable, which is pretty cool. Underneath, you can see the buttons of the white shirt. But going over the rest of the jacket, it's really I really like how the shininess it is and just the overall sculpt of the fabric. You can see the stitching in the back of the coat, along with some of the wrinkles. Same thing with the sleeves. Move the camera so you get some better lighting. I think that the sleeves on the arms, you can see all the more, you know, all the wrinkles. I think that looks really cool. His hand is just kind of a basic relaxed pose along with the gun holding hand. I just think that looks better with the handgun. Um, you can see the buttons on the coat, the coat jacket, the coat pockets, along with the inside here on his pants. You can see the little leather belt, the silver buckle. It's really cool. I like, I really like how the slacks look. I think those came out really classy and nice. Same thing with the dress up shoes. They look really cool. You can kind of see the, the leather stitching on there, um, along with the laces. I think that looks awesome. Uh, I like how they did. They added that joint in there with the shoe, so it doesn't take away from how the you know nice dress-up shoes look. But you can see it's got that nice ankle rocker in there. But overall, I just really like the sculpt of this. Besides that little number right there, it's not a big deal though. At least it's behind it. It's just very cool. Well, well done. Um, so go ahead and go to the articulation. So his head looks up about that much, looks down, looks left and right. It's got ball joints in the shoulders. They move out, they move up. It's got an upper bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Wrist also has rotation. He also moves down and back. It's got a nice ab crunch and nothing gets hindered. You can crunch forward, you can crunch back. It's got a waist swivel. And his legs can kick out, they can kick to the side. He's got an upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, no boot rotation, but his ankles do move down. They move up, not too far because his pants do hinder it, and he does have a nice ankle rocker. And he does have peggles at the bottom of the feet. So I'll go ahead and show you guys how tall Agent Coulson is.
All right, guys, so Agent Colson stands roughly just under six inches. So he's not super tall, which is good, though, because then when you have him next to, let's say, our movie cap, you don't want Captain Amer him being taller than Captain America. You can kind of get a height difference right there. So he's definitely in scale, which is good. And here he is next to our new Hulk, which I think is really cool. Look at that. It's awesome. All right, so there's the little comparison for you guys. But overall, I think... Um, he's definitely my favorite out of this three pack. I will continue uh, tomorrow with uh, probably Murray Hill and then Nick Fury. But I definitely think he's the the reason why a lot of people are going to be buying this three pack is because I just think this is a really cool figure. And plus, who doesn't like Agent Coulson, right? <laughs> All right, guys. I hope you have a great night. I'll talk to you later. All right.